guys, it's Zach from the Metal and Couple here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking, or uh, ranking, every Nails album and EP. Because Nails does not have a huge discography, I mean, anything I couldn't really find quick enough, I wouldn't go, like, for hours looking for it. Which, I mean, I found everything relatively easily, so... The only one I'm not reviewing is uh, Sadie's Frankton, I believe it's called. And the reason for that is because it's a jazz album. I don't know if it was actually made by Nails, or if there's another band called Nails out there that did that and they just kind of lumped it in, but if it was made by Nails, the grindcore band, then, I mean, it's a good jazz album, but that's not what we rank on here. We rank metal. Now, before we truly get into the album ranking, if there's any band out there that has a few, like, a good amount of albums, so not like one or two, I need at least four, or uh, three to four, and I would prefer four, honestly. Four and up, and I don't want some huge number, like 20, I don't want, like, Iron Maiden-like bands, hell no, I can't do that. That's exceedingly difficult to do. Uh, I could possibly do Slayer. I plan on doing Municipal Waste, and I plan on doing a few others. Okay, so if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. So, anyways, on to the video. <clears throat> there are six albums I missed, <laughs> like, wrote so, on a few, because I thought there were seven. I was like, oh shit, I'm running out of paper, but it turns out there's actually six. Okay, first one, Nails and Skin Like Iron Split EP. This was a two-sided, thousand copies only vinyl. On side A were two songs by Skin Like Iron that were not very memorable. And on the B side you had two songs by Nails, both of which were also not very memorable. This album had a great sound for being released independently, but wasn't able to stick as well as other ones. And this one gets its rating of 4 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Yeah. Am I saying that either band is bad? No. I haven't listened to a lot of uh, Skin Like Iron, so I can't fully recommend them, not recommend them. Probably Grindcore, just like Nails. Uh, so if you don't like Grindcore, don't listen to them, and if you don't like Grindcore, don't listen to Nails, okay? Obscene Humanity EP was number five. This was the first solo release by Nails, and it contained seven short but pretty good songs. When they made this EP, they were signed to the record label Six Feet Under Records. The best and most memorable songs are Alien H.U. 2 and Obscene Humanity. This EP had a really good production and would be the blueprint for, a few, for them in the future as they went on, whether they were doing sweat EPs or albums. Uh, the rating I would say for this one is a 5.5 out of 10. You don't really have to listen to it to get what nails came from, but that's where you're going to hear the most, um, like, kind of less refined sound. Uh, the most refined sound is off of You'll Never Be One of Us. Oh, the only EP I was unable to find was one they released this year. That one, I couldn't find it. So, I could find one song off there, and I'm not going to do a one song review, even though that song is badass. Okay, at number four we have Nails. Slash Full of Hell split EP. This was another split that Nails did, but this time they did it with Full of Hell. Nails did had one song on this, while uh, Full of Hell had three or two. Sorry. This song, the song "Gun My Nails" no longer under your control, was very memorable, and both of the Full of Hell songs were not memorable. Now, Full of Hell is a great band. They just didn't have anything stuck with this. This EP was done on the record label Closed Casket Activities. The rating is a 6 out of 10. Once again, not something you sh don't have to listen to, but you can if you want to. I mean, I would recommend listening to all of it because I love nails myself, but you don't have to. At number 3, we have Unsilent Death. This was the first studio album produced by Nails, and it did show, and it did show, 
show while delivering one hell of an album. Oh, it was the first produced and it did show because it produced one hell of an album. That's what I meant. And I'll find the sound heard on Obscene Humanity and did pack quite a few memorable songs such as Your God, Unsilent Death, I Will Not Follow, Scapegoat, and Depths. It's, it's true, it was truly the beginning of Nails and showed the power they could pack. Nails fall under power violence, so, and a few other things. Just look up Nails and figure it out, because I don't remember all four things anymore. Uh, rating, 7 out of 10. This one you should listen to. This is what I started with, and it really got me into them. Number 2, Abandon All Life. This was the second studio album that Nails released, and I feel that this one did better than the previous album. Now, not to say the previous one was a bad album, uh, it did better as it cleaned up the sound more making it a bit easier to listen to while still having the aggression that made it more hard to listen to, especially if you're just getting into metal or you're like commonly listening to pop and country and all that stuff. You're not gonna just jump right into nails. Uh, the best songs off this album are In Exodus, God's Cold Hands, Abandon All Life. Fuck, oh, I spelled Abandon wrong. Cry Wolf and Wide Open Wound. Rating, 8 out of 10. This album, you should listen to. This and, um... This and Unsilent Death are, like, the top albums to listen to. Now, we're on to our last one. And let me just say, this one's special for one reason so far. At number one, You Will Never Be One of Us. This was the most recent album released by Nails, and this did what the last two albums really wanted to do, which was clean up the sound, and really wanted which would be a clean and well put together album, but still being hard to listen to for the public, and um, wouldn't and being less successful to big record labels such as like Roadrunner, uh, Warner, like all those ones. The best songs off this album are You Will Never Be One of Us, Friend to All, Made to Make You Fall, Life is a Death Sentence, Violence is Forever, Savage Intolerance, In Pain, Parasite, Into Quietus, and they come crawling back, making this whole album memorable. This album had the greatest sound of all of Nail stuff, had the most memorable songs, and it's just a badass grindcore album. This one deserves its rating of 10 out of 10. That is our, that's why it's special, because it is the first 10 out of 10 out of the Metalhead Couple rating series. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's pretty awesome and all. But you know what would be more awesome? If you checked out my Facebook page, if you checked out um, the music youth, thank you for Diabolic Intent for letting me use that. Freaking awesome, guys. Um, and, as always, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!